Hi, I'm David Baxter. And I'm Kasha Thompson. And welcome to Cabarrus This Week. And today we are at the Cabarrus Health Alliance. We're in this beautiful kitchen. And Kasha's going to tell you about all the different things going on here and all the services and programs. Got a lot of other information on today's show, so grab that pen and paper so you can write that contact information down. But if you miss something, don't worry about it. We'll give you a web address and an email address at the end of the show. We're at the Cabarrus Health Alliance's Health and Wellness Kitchen. The Alliance provides and manages general health services to the community, such as restaurants restaurant inspections, immunizations, and WIC services. As an organization, they strive to go above and beyond in the quality of care they provide, as well as the scope of resources offered to residents of Cabarrus County. The Cabarrus Health Alliance is the only Department of Health in the state of North Carolina to have achieved both state and national accreditation. They provide our community with medical care, dental care, and health education. They also provide general, pediatric, and adolescent care, family planning, nutrition assistance, and education. Another unique opportunity open to the community is their dental health clinic. This program exists to provide oral health education, preventative and restorative dentistry services, while promoting oral health throughout our community. With state-of-the-art facilities, equipment, and multiple dentists on staff, they are sure to help you maintain a healthy smile. Here at the Health Alliance's Wellness Kitchen is a very important part of Cabarrus County because it is one of the few contemporary teaching and demonstration kitchens in our area. When designing the building, leadership envisioned a space oriented towards hands-on experience using the latest technology. Two fridges house delicious and healthy ingredients, while ample work and counter spaces fill the area. Two flat screen TVs are strategically placed, one in the dining area and one displayed above the oven. This broadens the range of visible display, making larger class sizes a possibility, while the counter and bar stools adjacent to the kitchen accommodate a more intimate crowd. The community cooking classes are extremely popular. You won't want to miss the upcoming class, Freezer Favorites, for cooks with on-the-go lifestyles. The class will take place right here in the Wellness Kitchen, Saturday, January 18th from 10 to 11.30 a.m. The class is just $5 and it's open to ages 5 and older. For more information on the Cabarrus Health Alliance or future cooking classes, visit CabarrusHealth.org or call 704-920-1000. Now, the Concord Library is offering an opportunity to create kind of a miniature snow day that you can take home with you. And it's not even cold. <laughs> so you can have it at home. Cold now. Yeah, it is cold now. Okay. But on Tuesday, January the 14th, from 4 to 5 p.m., ages 7 to 12 years old, are invited to kind of join the Creators of Cool. I love the program name. And read all about things snowy. Now, afterwards, participants will actually be able to construct their own snow globes. That's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Now, so for more information on the Creators of Cool Snow Globe Craft Session, that's happening on Tuesday, January the 14th, from 4 to 5 p.m. at the Concord Library. Just call 704-920-2050 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library. Did you know you can explore public records dating back to the Civil War mm. on Ancestry.com? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's very cool. The Concord Library invites those interested in genealogy to attend an introductory workshop on Tuesday, January 21st from 6 to 7 o'clock p.m. Participants will learn how to navigate and utilize Ancestry.com as a research tool. You'll also go over helpful e-resources like Heritage Quest and Fold3. Discover what these great library resources can offer to an amateur genealogist. <laughs> what should be looking at me for? Okay, okay. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Attendees okay. are welcome to bring their laptop computers and will need a valid email address to visit the library Wi-Fi. Registration is required. For more information or to register for the workshop Exploring Genealogy on Tuesday, January 21st from 6 to 7 p.m. at the Concord Library, call 704-920-2061 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library. Now, part of the wonder of winter is seeing these big fluffy snowflakes kind of falling down from the sky and kind of sparkling in the sun. Mm -hmm. Well, kids ages 5 to 12 are welcome to join the Snowflake Story Time. Now, that's on uh, Thursday, January the 16th from 4 to 5 p.m. That's going to be at the Concord Library. You'll learn all about the different facts about snowflakes, and afterwards they can actually cut out their own, so that'd be kind of nice. For more information of the Snowflake Story Time on Thursday, January 16th from 4 to 5 p.m. at the Concord Library, Simply call 704-920-2050 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library. Wreaths are the perfect decoration mm. for any season, That's as true. we learned last week, yes. right? <laughs> 
They're perfect for holidays or celebrations and so much more. And if you love crafting, you won't want to miss this exciting opportunity to do a wreath making class on Saturday, January 18th from 1 to 3 p.m. at Camp T in Spencer Park. Participants will work with decorative ribbon, mesh, yarn, felt to create three unique wreaths. Oh, that's nice. Perfect. The cost is just $10 per person, and all supplies will be provided. So it's a win-win, right? The yeah. class is appropriate for ages 10 and older, with pre-registration required by Thursday, January 16th. So be sure to get on it. It happens this week. For more information or to register for the decorative wreath-making workshop on Saturday, January 18th from 1 to 3 p.m. at Camp Tan Spencer Park, visit CabarrasCounty.us slash reserve partner, enter the search word wreath into the box, or call 704-795-4492. Now, they say opposites attract, and sometimes some of the funniest moments are the truths of marriage. That is so <laughs> that true. That is very true. Well, the Mount Pleasant Senior Center is putting together an evening of laughs centered on couples predicting, oh, what their better half is going to answer in a series of questions. Now, it's called The Perfect Match Show. That's going to be on Saturday, January the 18th from 5 to 7 p.m., and it's going to be at the Mount Pleasant Senior Center. Now, participants can join, they can enjoy the dinner, dessert, and then they can witness this really interesting performance. Now, the perfect match is kind of a takeoff on a, an old-time television show. Pre-selected couples from the area were interviewed and quizzed about how they thought their other half would respond. Now, tickets are just $5 per person but must be purchased in advance. Tickets can be brought, uh, you can buy them over the phone, through the center, or in person at both at Mount Pleasant and Concord Senior Centers. For more information or to purchase tickets to the Perfect Match Dinner Show on January the 18th from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Mount Pleasant Senior Center, just call 704-436-8034 or visit the Mount Pleasant or Concord Senior Centers. The Concord Friends of the Library will hold their annual winter meeting and volunteer recognition ceremony mm. with guest speaker Diane Powell from the Charlotte Observer. This program is free and open to the public and will be taking place on Saturday, January 18th from 1 to 2 p.m. Friends of the Library is an organization committed to supporting our local libraries, and we thank them oh, so yes, much for their much work. So. They believe that learning doesn't begin with a doesn't end with a formal education, which is why the Friends offer a wide range of quality adult programs at the Concord Public Library. These programs include author readings, lectures, and musical performances, a lot of which we'll discuss here on the show mm -hmm. throughout right. the year. For more information on the Friends Volunteer Recognition Ceremony, January 18th from 1 to 2 p.m., call 704-920-2050 or visit cabarrascounty.us slash library. Well, books like the Harry Potter, Twilight, Amelia Bedelia, and Goosebumps all started with a great idea and a love of writing. Now, if you're a young writer who likes to have fun, wants to learn how to put that imagination on the paper, there's a great workshop. It's just for you. Now, the Kannapolis Library invites young authors to explore and participate in a creative writing circle. And that's going to be on Tuesday, January the 21st from 4 to 5 p.m. Ages 7 to 12 are invited to develop and kind of expand creative ideas and bringing out the writer in them. For more information on the Creative Circle Writing Workshop taking place on Tuesday, January the 21st from 4 to 5 p.m. at the Kannapolis Library, just call 704-920-1180 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library. Do you use Legos as a canvas for creativity? Not lately. Not lately. <laughs> when I was a little What's smaller. What's the most intricate thing you've created with Legos? A fire truck. That's a very <laughs> small, non-intricate thing. But if you've ever gone to Legoland, you can see these giant dinosaurs. Oh, yeah. And there's all kinds of things you the can create. The big picture. Yeah, okay. exactly. The Kannapolis Library invites all lovers of Legos, mm -hmm. small and big, <laughs> to recreate scenes out of their favorite book with Lego pieces and characters on Wednesday, January 22nd from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. And this is where participants will blend their interest in reading with their love of building. For more information on the Lego My Book event taking place on Wednesday, January 22nd from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. at the Kannapolis Library, call 704-920-1180 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library. Now, I tell you what, it's been so bitter cold lately. Cabarrus County wants to remind residents of initiative aiding families in staying safe and healthy 
during this cold winter season. Families can apply for a one-time annual vendor payment for heating expenses through the Low Income Energy Assistance Program, and that application period now is open now through January the 31st for the target population, and that includes households with member age 60 or over, and households in which one member is determined disabled by either Social Security or Veterans Administration and is receiving services through the Aging and Adult Services. Now the program is open to all other households between February the 1st and March 31st. Eligibility for the program is based on household income, the number of people live in a home, residency, and need and resource guidelines. Now please keep in mind that food and nutrition recipients no longer automatically receive the energy assistance. You must apply during the application period. Households determined eligible for low income energy assistance do not receive a check. All the payments go directly to the vendor. For more information or to apply for the energy assistance program, visit the Cabarrus County Department of Human Services. That office is located at 1303 South Cannon Boulevard in Kannapolis. Hours are Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Or you can just call 704-920-1400. Looking to dazzle up documents? Mm. The Concord Library is offering an introductory course on Microsoft Word and graphics Thursday, January 23rd from 4 to 5 p.m. The basic computer class will demonstrate how to add graphics to your Word document, including the abilities to use the clip art, different shapes mm -hmm. and borders, and other illustrations. And I know half the problem with using these tools in Microsoft right. Word is finding where they are right. in the program. Yeah. They're always hidden. This will tell you how to find them. Knowledge of a keyboard and use of a mouse is recommended. Registration is required for more information or to register for Intro to Microsoft Word graphics class taking place Thursday, January 23rd from 4 to 5 p.m. Call 704-920-2050 or visit cabarrascounty.us slash library. Now, the very popular brand new Opry Bluegrass show is returning to the Davis Theater, and that's on Thursday, January 23rd at 7.30 p.m. Now, brand new Opry is an all bluegrass performance hosted by Jeff Whittington and featuring an all-star lineup of some of the best musicians in our area. Mm -hmm. Whittington is going to be on banjo. John Colbreth is fiddle. Pete Colrum is bass. Mike Wood, guitar. And Jason Wood is going to be on mandolin. Now tickets are fifteen dollars and are available for purchase online at the Davis or at the Davis Theater box office. For more information or to purchase tickets for the brand new Opry playing Thursday, January twenty third, from seven thirty to nine thirty p.m. at the Davis Theater, just call 704-920-2753 or visit CabarrasArtsCouncil.com. The Cabarrus County Department of Human Services invites county residents to participate in upcoming community forums hosted by the department. Mm. The next one is coming up on January 23rd. It'll be at Kannapolis at the Kimball Lutheran Church at 6.30 p.m. And leaders from the department will discuss the structure of the newly formed Department of Human Services, which mm -hmm. was a few different things, transportation, DSS, right. legal, etc. Now it's all merged into one. Uh, their goals and how they assist our community. The community forum is free and open to anyone in Cabarrus County who'd like to learn more about DHS and the programs and its role in the community. The evening will include an informal presentation, mm -hmm. there will be a question and answer session, and there will be an opportunity for you to meet with the leaders of DHS individually, ask some personal questions you may have, find out about services, and really have a personalized experience yeah. with them. Mm -hmm. For more information on the upcoming Department of Human Services Community Forums, visit the Hot Topic tab at CabarrasCounty.us or call 704-920-1400. Have you been thinking about possibly renovating your home or maybe you want to turn your lawn into a dream garden? I just want mine to be green. That's a, you know, have that, grass. Have grass would be a good thing. Yeah. Well, I need to come to the Greater Charlotte Home and Landscape Show. That course is going to be at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center on Friday, January 24th through Sunday, January 26th. The hours of the show are Friday on January 24th from 2 p.m. till 7 p.m. Now on Saturday the 25th from 10 a.m. until 7 p.m. And then on Sunday, January 26th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Now admission is $7.50 for ages 17 and older, $5.50 for seniors ages 65 and older, free for those age 16 and younger, 
with a paying adult. Retired military, 550, and active military are admitted free. Now, you can shop to your drop, all kinds of cool things they have. They've got art, gift, gourmet center. You can enjoy a complimentary wine tasting and live pottery demonstrations. And everything is all under one roof. Now, the outdoor living displays include breathtaking gardens, landscapes, water features. And you won't want to miss the complete home improvement zone. Now, they have showcasing windows, doors, sunrooms, builders. They got the little builders standing in the corner. No, I don't know. And <clears throat> remodelers and much more. Participants so can little attend. Little builder standing in the corner. Do you <laughs> want to explain your way? No, out of no, 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 no. Really. Yeah, it's just okay. Now, uh, DIY seminars. What is that DIY seminars? Do it yourself. Oh, there you go. See. <laughs> 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 I gotta read this more uh, often. Okay, the uh, seminars with garden experts. We know and, who doesn't do it himself. <laughs> and, yeah, exactly. Himself messes up. <laughs> it, yeah, it's not a good thing. No, no, ever since the bathroom. Okay, and uh, the latest kitchen. <laughs> fixing the bathroom. Fixing the bathroom. That's it. That's that floor. You know, it was just really bad. Okay, the latest trends in kitchen bath. Interior design and accessories. There's a whole lot of stuff. You just can't miss that. For more information on the Charlotte Home and Landscape Show taking place on Friday through Sunday, January 24th to the 26th, visit KabiraSarena.com or you can call 704-920-3976. The Cabarrus County Senior Dances are coming up again and they want you to attend. The dances encourage wellness and are a great way to socialize with yeah, other older fun. adults in Cabarrus County. Each dance features a local band with upcoming performances from the Highlighters on January 17th, the Cheyenne Band on Friday, January 24th, and the Delmonico's on Saturday, January 25th. Oh, very good. So you could do it yourself and then go to the dance <laughs> and have right. some fun. All dances take place from 7 to 10 p.m. at the Concord Senior Center, located at 331 Corbin Avenue. The cost to attend is $5, and you can pay that at the door, folks. For more information on the senior dances on Friday, January 17th, Friday, January 24th, and Saturday, January 25th at the Concord Senior Center, call 704-920-3484. Now, the Kannapolis Fire Department has implemented a new community program entitled Adopt a Hydrant. Now, in this program, Kannapolis residents are encouraged to adopt a hydrant that's, you know, in, the, in front of their house or in their vicinity of their home. Now, the requirements of the program are just really simple. Keep, keep the grass neatly mowed around the hydrant. Report, or don't or, grow grass around Or don't grow <laughs> grass around <laughs> either one. Report any kind of leaking of water from outlets to the uh, Kannapolis Fire Department and report any kind of damage or vandalism uh, to the hydrant. Hydrants have a reflective band with a six-digit label. Anyone wishing to participate in the program, all you got to do is locate that band and write down the number and contact the Adopt a Hydrant Coordinator. This information will be verified and the hydrant adoption certificate will be delivered to you. And the basic requirements for the application, really simple, being Kannapolis residents, it's your name, your address, your phone number, and an email address if you'd like. For more information about Adopt a Hydrant program, just call 704-920-4661. Now, I know we've had a lot of different information on today's show, so if you missed any of the contact information, all you got to do is go to our web address, cabarruscounty.us, and you have a search box. You can put in your topic. You can find your information. If you have any sort of problems, just shoot us an email at channel22 at cabarruscounty.us. We want you to sign up for our newsletter. You might wonder what, why sign up for the newsletter. Well, if you can't keep up with what we're saying here or you'd like to get it all in one place, include a little news in with that information, you can get it all delivered to you once a week in an e-newsletter. Just go to the homepage of our website, click on the top right side, and fill out some information. It'll come to you every week. We also want you to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Just go to facebook.com slash County and twitter.com slash County or at Cabarrus County. Now, if you have family and friends that don't have Time Warner Cable, can't watch us on Channel 22, or maybe you just want to watch us when you have the opportunity, just go to CabarrusCounty.us and right there on the homepage, scroll down to the lower left, you see a video screen. Right below that, it says More Channel 22 Programs. You can click on that. And up comes the thumbnails of all the different programs we have. And uh, Cabarrus This Week, Simply Local, Historical Moments, the Commissioner's Meetings, School Board Meetings, all the different things that we have on Channel 22. And you can watch them at your leisure. It's the easiest way to get involved in county Absolutely. government. Just watch it. Just watch it. And uh, all kinds of great things going on. And this is the Health Alliance 
is I mean, they have all kinds of wonderful, great programs that are available for the community. And it is really, really, in, in, in the kitchen, I, I have kitchen envy. This kitchen is really envy. nice. This is not a do-it-yourself kitchen. No, no. This no. does require a lot. I, I would not be able to do much of anything myself. But anyway, now we all know that. Okay. <laughs> Until next week, you have a great one. Take care.